child that night I got saved up there in that little brown chair. I thought about what God done as I read in this verse. He took that, put a, a treasure in this earthly vessel. He put a treasure in my earthly vessel and that I can praise God. It's not me, but I can praise Him through the power of Him. The power's in the Lord. It's not in us men. It's not in us. It's all in the Lord. That power got to come down from God out of heaven. A lot of times, I don't know how you all preachers done. I don't know how you worked all of that through life. But I know ever since God called me, this has been my prayer. I said, Lord, if reading this book, even this Bible, if it makes me exalt me and make me try to get me bigger than other men or bigger than you, I'd rather not even read it, God. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I've seen some of them read it and they studied it and it seemed like they know everything more than anybody else. But I'm glad I ain't like that. I'm glad I ain't like that. I'm glad that I depend on the Lord. I trust in Him. He's the one that give me a treasure in my heart and in my life. He give me a treasure at night he saved my soul. He come in and he give me a treasure inside. And if I, I hope you can see a treasure. I hope I can open it up that you can see a tre treasure that I've got in the Lord. It's all about him. It's not about me. But he loved me enough that he died on the cross and that he come in ahead of that old holler and deal with my life. Oh yeah, he loved me that much. I cherish this treasure I have. I cherish the treasure I have inside that he give me. I cherish it. I, I try to watch after it. I try to take care of it. I try to keep it clean. I try to keep it holy to the best I can. And yet I still fail because I'm in the flesh and my flesh fails. But I'll tell you one thing. This treasure that I have that he give me, it's never Never fail. It's never failed. This treasure he put in my life, it's never failed. It's never failed. Some people, they get saved, and you never even know they're saved. They confess the Lord, but you never know they were saved. They never, ever, ever, never, ever open up any to let you see that vessel or see that treasure that's inside, brother. There's a treasure in you. When you get saved, you get born again. There's a treasure that God puts in you and then he shines that light on you. He said, I've got to go away, but I'm going to let you be the light of the world. He'll shine on that treasure. You don't got to have a banquet on your head. You don't got to have a t-shirt on. Say, I'm saved. You have that light about you. Live a good life. Men are see. And the Bible said they want to glorify your Father, which is in heaven. It'll make them want to glorify him if you'll show them the treasure. Treasure that you've got. That's good picture, man. If you'll show them the treasure Amen. that's in your life. That's right. But he also said, if you'll be ashamed of me, that's right. I'll be ashamed of you before my father and his holy angels. When he comes, he'll be ashamed of you. If you, if you don't let your treasure get out. You know, I, I believe I say it's come to my mind today. I, I, I'm thinking it was one of the men in the Bible. I'm thinking and it was Hezekiah that began to, uh, his men come to his house, uh, and he, you Bible readers will know what I'm talking about, and he began to take them in and show him all the treasures. Wasn't well, Hezekiah done that? And he showed them all of his treasures. Uh, Wasn't well, long there, they come and robbed him, didn't they? Uh, then they take his treasures, uh, and begin to rob him. Uh, and you can show people your earthly treasure, uh, you may get robbed. Uh, but all I thought today as I was praying, uh, Lord mercy, uh, if I can show them this one, uh, you can't rob me of this one. Uh, Woo! 
praise the Lord and show this treasure to you and present him to you and tell you what a treasure I've got down in my life and down in this old fleshly body. Ain't that something out there? He made this old fleshly body out of the dust of the earth. Some man can't do. But oh, when you come to get saved, he'll put up a special treasure inside of you for you to cherish, you to love. He loves you. How are you treating him? What are you doing with your treasure? Are you like the man in the Bible? That take and hit it? Yeah. Yeah. Put it in that right there. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Boy, that's pretty thin. Yeah. I can see the lights all through that. That's thin, ain't it? Yeah. Boy, when you hate for something just that thin to knock, knock you out of heaven. Oh, yeah. That's right. Huh? Ain't that something, either? Yeah. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah. Have that right there. Wrapped out on top of that treasure that the Lord put in you, and you never tell nobody about it. You never do nothing with it. You go to the house of the God, and you just go and you sit there. You never say a testimony. You never give anything in. Nobody ever knows if you if about the treasure you got, and you just you've got it, but you just hid it away. According to that, you can do it, can't you? According to that, you can hide it away. Wrapped it up in it, kept it neat and buried it, hid it away. You can hide it right down inside of this old fleshly body in this old vessel here you can hide it right in there and folks uh, uh, wow but I'll tell you what I had a while the king's coming I had a while the king's coming he's a coming he's gonna require of you what he give you he's gonna require of you what he give you some he give ten some five brother and on down to just that one and the head the one was the one that went hit it and put it away. Oh, he said, I feared thee. I know you was a harsh man. I know you reaped where you sowed not. And you done all this. And I hid it away. Oh, God. I don't want to hide my, my treasure. I want it out, brother. I want it out. When I go in Walmart, I want my treasure out there. I want my treasure to shine. I want it. When I go where I go when I go on the mountain by myself. I want my treasure to shine. I want them cows to see it in me, ready. Yeah. Woo! Glory, hallelujah. I want them all to see it. That treasure that God put in my life and down in my heart. Woo! There ain't nothing like it. Michael, there ain't nothing like it, anybody. Don't you cherish it. Hold it down inside of your life. But how can you? Happy Lord. If you got it all wrapped up neat and nice. Yeah, boy. That's right. And you keep it tucked away. Yeah, that's right, brother. Helping the Lord. That's good, brother. Hide it away. Yeah, you can't see it Gotta hear it. Gotta hear it now. Can you see it? Can you see it? Somebody talk to you. Yeah, boy, I'm saved. Yeah, it's in there. Where's it at? I'm saved. You go to church? Well, yeah, now and again. Mm -hmm. huh? Come on, I'm telling you right. I'm telling you right. What are you doing, church? Yeah. Oh, I just go. Yeah. I'm faithful. Yeah. Yeah, boy. I want my seat there in the house of God. I want to sit there. I want my place in there. Yeah, I pay my tithes. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm in the act of it. I'm a lander down. Huh? But what about that treasure? What about the important part of it? What about the important part of it? Huh? Woo! Amen. What about that part? What's it at? What have you done with it? You got to hit away. Or you got it out there where folks can see it. Happy Lord. Got it out here. Got it out here. Happy Lord. I could get me a shirt and say I'm saved on it. Yeah. Front and back. All right. I could wear it everywhere I go. Yeah. That wouldn't mean, that wouldn't make it right. That's right. That wouldn't, that wouldn't put it in me. No. That wouldn't put it in me. Just the name don't do it. That's right. It's got to be more. Yeah. Huh? It's more. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. 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 I, I, no doubt in my mind, if I go down here and go up the river, a lot of these folks up through here, I'm sitting home and 
everybody goes to the house, they probably tell me, a lot of them tell me they're saved. Come on. Yeah, just about all of them. I'd say about, about, about the biggest majority. I know it is over home, but if we go, they say, yeah. Yeah, I'm a saved. Yeah, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. But, but I thought when them... Uh, a G Holy Witness come to my house. I don't let them in. I don't bid them in my house. I meet them at the door. Amen. I talk to them. Now I don't get. I don't get hateful with them. Don't get them, God. Come on. I, I go out. I meet them at the door. I met that woman. One woman at the door. And she said, "I want to read a scripture to you." I said, well, let me go get it. My Bible's laying right here on the table. Oh, you don't need it. I said, yeah, I believe I do. Yeah, I believe I do. I said, I, 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 just, I, said, I don't believe your book will read like mine. Yeah, huh? Yeah, boy. And it didn't. It didn't. So I got, went and got my Bible and got back to the door. She done changed the verse she's going to the time I got back. Oh, yeah. She told me the verse, but when I, when I got back out of she done switched over somewhere else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, that's all right. Go ahead and read. She read, and I read mine. Yeah. I said, it's different, ain't it? Oh, yeah, you got, you got that King James Version, don't you? I said, yeah, I said, that, that's the only one it is, ain't it? That's the only one it is, ain't it? We heard talked and talked and talked. And I started to mention Jesus to her. I tried my best to get her to say Jesus. She would not. She would not. She would not say. I tried every way. I'm, I'm on it. And boy, I tell you what, the Spirit of the Lord began to fall on me. That scriptures began to fly out of my mouth. That amazed me. I'm just telling you. And it amazed me. And boy, I felt the power of God. I just started I just started letting them roll out to her. She couldn't do nothing. She couldn't say nothing. She couldn't do nothing. She said, boy, I wish that, uh, that our pastor was here. I said, I do too. I, I, I wish he was too. Yeah, I like to talk to him. I like to talk to him. And all. And we went on a while. And I said, have you been born again? What's that? She didn't know what I was talking about. Yeah. She didn't know what I was talking about. She didn't know what I was talking about. Amen. Not been born again. Yeah. No, she didn't know. Yeah. But oh, I'm glad the power of God uh, can help us out and yeah. fall on us. Uh, yeah. he, he, he said, not even take no thought what to say. Yeah. That, that Holy Ghost to come, brother. Uh, and it uh, just let it spit out uh, yeah. what needs to be said uh, and what needs to be done. Uh, but where is your treasure? Uh, where is your treasure tonight? Uh, where is it? Have you got it hid? If you're saved, he gives you one. And if you ain't saved tonight, he'll give you one. He'll open your heart up from the inside out. And he'll put it in you. You can leave your rejoicing. You can leave your shouting tonight. Or if you've had it hid, why don't you get up and come to the altar and say, Here it is, Lord. There's that old napkin. There's that old thing that had me covered. Give it to the Lord. And he'll clean you. He'll renew you. He'll refresh in you. He'll put in you the right spirit. And he'll renew your heart. He'll renew your life. And you can have a treasure. You can rejoice over and praise him over. We'll have revival then. It ain't over. It ain't about me. It ain't about these boys. It's all about Jesus tonight. It's all about Jesus tonight. That's what it's all about. It's all about him. It's all about him tonight. How about it is with you? Where's your treasure? Where's your treasure? Has it been hid? Have you had it hid for years and years? I don't know how long space of time that little fella had that hid. I, I sort of think it was a pretty good while. Probably a long time, no doubt. Long time. The others that he had, they got out and worked with it. And they gained. They gained. They gained. They gained. That one gained. He got five one place and he gained five more. But you know what happened? The Lord said, take that from him and give it to the one that's got ten. That's right. Give him eleven. He worked harder. That's right. He done it. He got done and worked with it. Are you working with yours? Amen. Are you working with yours? Uh, is, it, is that treasure uh, when you around your family? It needs to shine. It needs to shine out. It needs to shine wherever you go. It don't matter. You need to have it shining out there. Yeah, I mean, can't hide it. Can't hide it. Can't hide it. 
got to have it out there. Amen. I can't hide it. I don't want to hide it. Lord, I want it to shine out. Amen. I want my treasure to shine out. Amen. I want my boys to see it. I feel like they have seen it down through the years. I feel like they have. I know they have because I've let it shine. I ain't hid it. So they've seen it. If you don't hide it, they'll see it. Amen. If you don't hide it, folks at Walmart will see it. It's like a city. You can't hide it. Amen. It'll shine. Amen. It'll shine out. You can go up down through Walmart or wherever you go. It don't matter. It'll shine out there. It'll shine out there. I've, I, I've went to, I ain't bragging on me. I brag on the Lord, on the treasure he gave me. Me and her's been places. And uh, one place was getting guys. Uh, a woman come up and said, you're some Christians, ain't you? Uh, go to church, don't you? Uh, I said, yeah, ma'am, I do. Uh, yeah, I do. She said, I know. I seen, the, I seen a light about you, just, even through the car window. Uh, buddy, I'm telling you, it'll shine. It'll shine out there. It'll get out. Folks can see it. Uh, and folks need to see it. Uh, in this dark world we're living in, uh, and the folks out there uh, that spaced out of their mind uh, on these drugs, uh, all wrapped up in everything. Hey, God, I need to see the light. I uh, need to see a light uh, in God's people. Uh, if you look like them and dress like them and talk like them, uh, that ain't going to help them a bit in the world. you got to be different. Uh, God's people is different. And they shine out. Amen. They shine out. Yes, amen. They shine out. Yes, People said, well, you can't tell the Christians from the, the world. You sure can. Right. You can, brother. Amen. It's a difference in it. It's a, amen. it's a difference in it. Amen. There's something about them. There's something about them. And it shines out. When they go out there and that treasure, they got that treasure open. You know what? I don't ever want to close my treasure. No. I don't ever want to close my treasure. I want my treasure to stay open. open. Everywhere I go, I want my treasure to stay open. And the Lord can shine out of it. That He will shine out. Somebody can see your good works and want to glorify your Father, which is in heaven. You gotta, you gotta help get them in. You gotta guide them. You gotta work. You gotta shine. You gotta work and get them in. Let it shine out there. Let it shine out there. But I love you. Want to sing a song? Good preacher, brother. I'll open up the altar. The altar's already open. But we'll give you an invite. How about you tonight? This might be for just a Christian. Sometimes the Christian needs an altar service. Sometimes the Christian 